we've seen how it pulls there and that pulls there which again pulls directly onto one of these plates there like that which pulls in a bar 20 holes in the bar 10 representing flattening and 10 representing sharpening you put a screw in one of those holes and it pushes the lever the actuator for a given string and whichever lever it pushes either flattens or sharpens that string now the interesting thing about it is that because there's a hole for flattening and sharpening every single string it's totally determined by how many screws you put in the other thing is the distance of travel uh, is determined by the maximum raise or lower that you put and once you've set the maximum raise and lower then you adjust the other screws to tune the intermediate notes you can raise and lower any string as far as the working range of the string will allow you and any number of strings on one pedal so that's the basics there obviously if you've got three or four raises on a single pedal then what you will need to do is change your leverage point there for the pedal also change the leverage point there so you've got a greater leverage and the travel of the pedal is also governed by a second hole there so you can change the amount of travel the zero point for the pedal is actually adjusted on a screw underneath the pedal so the pedal can sit at any height you wish the other thing I failed to mention was the tension springs here which are for the zero point on the fingers it holds the fingers flat against a bar that's across so they 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 are keeping the fingers in their zero position and the tension is adjustable on a screw for every single string there are the individual springs and they're actually holding in the flattening side of the lever I believe let me check that's a flattening one in operation and in fact those springs are, uh, are mounted on a screw and the center part of the screw goes through the spring and actually through a hole at the end as you can see there now we go to the tuning mechanism for the strings the keyless mechanism which straightforward in operation the strings are mounted on a little sled you actually go through the slot with the string round once back down round the screw hole and then tighten the screw that's the correct procedure according to the book and it moves up and down so that's where your tuning is achieved the little sleds themselves or whatever you want to call them behind them is a small PTFE sheet and actually on the knurled screws we have PTFE bearings on the on the surface that is actually pushed where that uh, takes tension so again the operation system is good according to the book and you take the string through there round back through the slot round the screw hole and then you bring it back through the slot you tighten the screw and then you just cut the string off at that point there that's all very well but some people that had this guitar earlier didn't read the book and what they did was they put the strings two or three times round those posts and of course the tension was totally incorrect that whole sled system if you can see there are, it's die cast there are marks on it it's cast and it's broken in places I'm considering getting stainless ones made up and
that is the way it looks. That goes straight onto a roller bridge and we shall look at that in a moment. So the roller bridge that the strings go onto is there and it's an identical unit to the roller bridge at the other end of the guitar. Uh, so they were smart enough with their design. As you probably notice there's an in unusual fretboard design on it but most unusual is the pickup design as well. We have 10 strings but if you notice there are 12 pole pieces. The theory behind that is sound. Take a string there it's vibrating in a magnetic field from each pole piece and a pole piece on either side which is also affecting the central magnetic field and on an ordinary pickup then the outside string is only vibrating in a magnetic field of its own pole and one pole by the side of it. So the second pole puts the first string and the tenth string vibrating in identical magnetic fields to any of the other strings. It does make a difference to the tone of those strings and their volume. That's the changeover lever. That's all that's on the top of the guitar. To the right of the guitar, where your right hand is, you've got your tone and volume controls and your tuning. Which does have its limitations because the tuning is achieved by putting your hand there and turning. So. That's all very well, but I don't have a thumb pick on, or finger picks. And if I had a thumb pick and finger picks, it wouldn't be quite as easy. Now, to the other end of the guitar. This is the changer end, but of course it's different, because the changer at this guitar is behind the left hand. Um, I suppose one advantage is it moves the changer system away from the pickup end of the guitar so probably less noise from the mechanism and the first thing you notice is this knife edge here. Those changers are resting on a knife edge, there's no central pin or bearing. They're held on that knife edge. The other thing that's quite interesting is that the pull itself is virtually in a straight line. But the strings go through the end of the top of the changes and as you can see it's pulling the string virtually in a straight line. Not round a cam at all. Another interesting point of the design is these covers for the changer. You might wonder what those two black marks are there. Well I took the cover off to facilitate looking at it upside down but here is the cover in its on position and those two black lumps there are actually magnets and the cover holds itself in position by magnetic force. No, no clips to go wrong that's it, which I think is quite smart. So, this is a view of the changer at the end. So, the changer mechanism. That's it, and all that happens is you put in as many screws as you wish. So, as I was saying, it's any number of changes, any number of strings, any amount of distance within the working range of the string. And every pedal can be set for a different configuration. So basically you can take any string to anywhere within its working range.